this is Sonali, the Melodramatic Bookworm. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome to the Melodramatic Bookworm family. Also welcome to a brand new reading vlog for the subscriber pick for the month of October, which is Anxious People by Frederick Backman. I actually started reading it last night. The thing is, it's really complicated what happened, okay? I thought I'd start reading this last night and I'll get through about 50-60 pages and then go to sleep. But that did not happen. I gave up on page 2 because it was so good, I thought I needed my concentration to read this book. Okay, this is the story of a bank robbery in which a bank robber holds 8 people hostage. I think, no, a bungled robbery has developed into a hostage situation and a fear quickly turns to irritation for seven strangers trapped inside. But as the minutes tick by, they begin to suspect that the criminal mastermind holding them hostage might be more in need of rescuing than they are. And yeah, I'm really excited to read more of this. I'm also listening to the audiobook on Libro FM. Where is my phone? It's somewhere here. Focus, please. And the narrator is doing a good job of it so far and I really like how it's going. I, I love how Frederick Backman puts humor into his stories, okay? There's one point where I burst out laughing and I just couldn't bring my brain out of that and I kept rereading that sentence and I kept laughing. But we did move forward from there and I'm now on page Okay, let's not talk about which page I'm now on. Um, there's about 6 hours and 20 minutes left in the audiobook at 1.5 speed. But if I speed it up, then I might be able to finish it in about 5 hours. But I don't think I will read the whole book with the audiobook. I'll just alternate between this and that and this and that. I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't know how that makes any sense. But yeah. This is, this is super funny, okay? Because <laughs> listen, there's this character who's a real estate agent and uh, the policeman is trying to find out more about the robber. And she's exasperating him to such a point that he goes, he presses his thumbs hard against his eyebrows as if he hopes there are two buttons. And if he keeps them pressed at the same time for 10 seconds, he'll be able to restore life to its factory settings. This is amazing. I love it. Back to reading. Frederick Backman to reading. people it is the 20th of october and last night i finished reading about 121 pages of anxious people wait yeah i could i could just you put this up but no yeah i got through quite a bit of it i felt like if i would have sat through for uh, a few more hours I could have finished the book last night, but then again, it was 3 o'clock by the time I decided to wrap it up. It was 3 a.m. And I was like, no, 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 that's not going to happen. I need sleep. So what's been going on in this book? Hold on. Let me put this here. So as we know, this book is a story of a bank robbery turned hostage situation. And I was really excited to read this book but when I started reading it I thought that 
the way the story is written it's not in a linear timeline it's not a linear narrative and i found it a little confusing but soon i got into that groove and i know now where things connect and how they are going and i love the intricacies in this book and i'm loving how it is coming out and there are so many varied characters in here they are eccentric they have layers to them they they are there are facades involved like you don't know what one particular person is thinking and if you think that you know a person just by seeing how they behave ha <laughs> ha i have news for you it's not like that there's a lot of difference in what you see on a person and what they actually are and i i'm loving this whole thing i love how it's coming out frederick backman's humor sense of humor and wit it like jumps out at you from every single page in the book and i found myself snorting with laughter throughout and i loved it i mean i almost got whiplash you know from the number of times i laughed from the number of times i frowned at how deep whatever he was saying was and at the number of times i was like oh my god that that hurts that is so sad it hurts so basically the update is that i am loving this book and i really want to uh, continue reading this book but i need to uh, get started on a book that we need to be discussing tomorrow so i am putting this on hold for a while i i don't know how long but i know that i will be finishing this this week because it's so amazing and hi there it is uh, the 28th of october and it is 1 Fifteen in the morning, I think that's the time, and I was too lazy to whip out my camera and tell you, give you some updates about uh, anxious people, because I'm I'm like that. I can't do anything about it. But I will be recording this last section, this last segment of my vlog on my phone because basically I'm too lazy. So uh, what? I did make some progress after I paused it for a while there but I'm now on page 171 and I really like how this is going I'm really liking the pace of the book there's so much humanity in Frederick Backman's books it's always that way and this is, with a host of characters this one makes it even better because each character is so different from the next and you feel like every character that you read about you know one person for that character in your life in real life i don't know if that makes sense but it did make sense in my head i am hoping to finish this before tomorrow before i go on this big uh, not big or long but it's this mini i detox social detox kind of thing that i am going on and i won't be available until the 1st and i really want to finish this before i go on that break so that i don't have to vlog during those 4 days it's like 1:15 if i need to finish this i need to be up till about say 2 and a half hours 4 o'clock and it's i'm i'm gone uh, if i'm not able to finish this today i mean before i go to sleep then i will finish it in the morning hopefully before i start the detox like this is the same video that you will be seeing but uh welcome to the book review for anxious people by frederick backman you picked this book for me to read and review for you uh in the month of october and i did finish reading this book in the month of october today is the 2nd of november and i'm only getting to filming the book review today because i was on a break from the 28th of october to the 1st of november and i was on a complete social media break but yes let's concentrate on anxious people by frederick backman let me just put this here so that you can see and it won't fall please don't fall okay so as you've seen in the vlog i really enjoyed reading this book to such a large extent but 
I do have issues with this book. I mean, it's not very serious per se, but I still felt that this was not the best Bachman out there. Even though I have not read any Frederick Bachman book apart from A Man Called Uwe, I feel that a Man Called Uwe was here. Anxious People was not bad. It was fun. It was... It touched my heart. It uh, addressed a lot of issues. But it quite didn't get to that level. I still gave it four stars. Okay, so we are getting that out of the way first. I still gave it four stars. But still, I felt that there was something missing. That little spark, you know. Okay, so before we just go on like this, let me just tell you what Anxious People is all about. In a small town in Sweden, uh, there's, there's a bank robber who is in need of money. So they go into a bank and they find out that they're not going to get that money from there. So the police end up coming there and the bank robber escapes from the bank and then they end up going to an apartment viewing and it immediately transforms into a hostage situation. But the thing about this whole hostage situation is that it's not a normal set of hostages, nor is the bank robber a normal bank robber, if you can call a bank robber normal. There's a variety of characters in there. Each of them has their own quirks, each of them has their own problems, their own issues, what they are dealing with in their life. And when this bank robber appears over there, they realize that this bank robber has more issues than they do. So how do they deal with this unique situation? How do they deal with the bank robber? Will they be able to escape? Will they hand this bank over to the police and you know just go free because that's what they need, right? And will their secrets, which they have been harboring for years now, will they stay hidden or will they just come tumbling out across these few hours? and how they see people in general and how they see their equation with each other because there are couples in there in that apartment viewing and it comes to the point where pizza gets involved and fireworks and i don't even mean the you know figurative fireworks i mean like literal fireworks are involved and i know how it may sound like it might sound like just a random hodgepodge of stuff but if you read the book you will see what exactly i'm talking about because it will make a lot more sense it's a lot more interesting than i am making it out to be and i'm supposed to making make it interesting for you i don't know what's happening anyway so a lot changes in the lives of these people and how they come together to face this situation it forms the entire story Okay, so the plot is now out of the way. Now it's up to me to explain to you what I liked and what I did not like about this book. On the surface, it seems like I really, I know what I want to talk about. It feels like I have a list of things that I need to check out. But this book is a lot more complicated than that because there are, there's a non-linear narrative which it will take some time for you to get into and you need to actively keep running your mind as to who you are actually reading about and you need to find out from the context clues that okay this is not that person, this is that person that you are reading about and it's not as easy as you would think it would be and as i've already told you frederick backman is a huge favorite of mine i absolutely love his writing i know i have not read any other books from frederick backman apart from a man called uwe and i really loved it and i keep raving about it every single time but still i love his writing especially because his writing is empathetic it is full of love for the world. It is full of understanding for the world. It makes you laugh because it is so funny in such an understanding manner. Does that make sense? But it is funny. He brings out the small things in life, magnifies them and then shows us why they are so important and why we need to be grateful for them or why we need to focus our attention on them from time to time. You should not like obsess over them every single day but you need to acknowledge their presence and be grateful that they exist. Frederick Backman's writing has the power to stop you in your tracks and just make you cry. You will bawl because it has so many essential truths within it of life in general and of 
so many everyday things that you can't really put a finger on you can't explain what it is that he talks about unless you go and read that book and he addresses issues like anxiety and depression and uh, suicide and i really loved how he handled the whole narrative in this book but like i mentioned before i did have issues with this book not because of what it was about but because of how it was written because i do love nonlinear narratives but sometimes like in this book it gets super super confusing and i was not really in with the point that the big reveal that you were going to do towards the end it was not as great as i had expected it to be maybe that's my thing maybe i shouldn't have had that expectation but it's frederick backman i can't not have that level of expectation from his books and it just made me feel like oh that was it but that could just be me so just keep this in mind when you read it but don't uh, impose that on the book if you are going to pick the book up another thing that i was not a huge fan of was the repetitiveness i mean i know when you're telling a story in storytelling you tend to repeat certain sections of the story that you are talking about but this book it sort of took it to a different level there was a lot of repetition happening and i don't mean that in uh, a different person's perspective like not different points of view you have povs in uh, different uh, novels right but I don't mean it that way. I don't mind reading that. And even in the same character's perspective, it was a it was sort of repeated a little. I felt like, but I still think that these two issues that I had didn't have a huge impact on how I see the book overall. And I really enjoyed reading it. I cried, I laughed, I sniggered, I had fun with the characters. I loved one character, I loathed one character. I was rooting for a few characters and I, I just wanted to give some characters a big hug and I could understand why the author named the book Anxious People and that's about it. See as a final verdict I would say that I did enjoy reading this book. I loved it. I laughed. I cried and everything that I've mentioned before but there is a but obviously. If you are looking to start with Frederick Backman's books then I would say that this is not a great place to start. I would suggest that you start with A Man Called Uwe and then go on to Bear Town and uh, Us Against You and that series. This you could put on hold for the moment but I, I'm not saying that you should not read this book. I'm just saying that if you are looking to start Frederick Backman, then start with A Man Called Uwe and not this book. After that, you can come to this and you will see what I am talking about. As I mentioned before, Anxious People was a four star read for me and it felt like, a, if not a tight hug, a warm embrace. So that was my vlog come review of Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. What did you think of this video? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Will you pick up Anxious People after watching this video? Or have you already read Anxious People and did you love it? Did you not love it? What did you think of the book? Please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, please like it and share it to spread the word. And if you like my content and would like to see more from me, don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified as and when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, keep reading, keep watching and add melodrama to your life.